takes a lot less time without, uh, without all the necessary equipment for tan toes. Good evening, my beautiful internet friends. Tonight we have a super special guest. Well, Sophie here is gonna be joining us. I felt like doing my nails tonight. Yes, I did. I sure did. Guys, isn't she the cutest thing ever? So one of the most asked questions I've ever had is, do you get half-priced pedicures? It's like the joke that everyone goes to that everyone thinks is hilarious, and frankly, I mean, it's funny. The problem is, I still don't know. I've never actually gone to a place to have a pedicure done, um, so we're just gonna do it here at home. No, 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 you can't eat this. This is not gonna go well, guys. Feel like down? As we start here, I feel like I should really apologize for like the state of my couch, but if you guys saw my Instagram live video the other day, you know how uh, how dirty my house gets now that we have puppy dogs home. A lot of dirt I haven't got to just yet, but I'm just gonna let you guys see me in, oh, this doesn't work so well. I'm just gonna let you guys see me in my natural environment. That's what I was trying to say. I actually never had pedicures done because anyone touching my foot or touching my ankle gave me like crazy, crazy weird nerve pain. And so there were a couple times where I had pedicures for like weddings where other people were like, let's go do this as like, you know, the bridal party or whatever. And I was like, okay. Man, I could never do it. I could never like actually go through with it. I would ask them to stop because it hurt so much. But we took care of that situation. And I'll tell you what, a serious perk of having only one foot is that this, this goes a lot faster. We're gonna let that base coat dry and start on my nails here. So everyone, like I said, always asks me about half price pedicures, but here's what I need your input on. I feel like asking for half price pedicures would be a little greedy because 50% off, I mean like I have 50% less toes than I was born with, than most people have, but they still have to do the work of setting up. Like they're still taking on a client for that time. So I feel like realistically, if I was to walk into a Nail salon, manicure place, I actually don't know what they're called. A place that does your nail. I feel like it'd be insulting if I asked for 50% off, but a 30% discount, I feel like would be reasonable. I found this happy little green color for four bucks at Ulta tonight. Hence what inspired me to have this little pedicure party with you guys. This color looks like Easter. It's past Easter. Probably why it was on sale. So I'm curious, how many of you guys would like to see like an actual going and getting a pedicure done and seeing how much I could actually realistically get off. Let me know in the comment section. So I started going to counseling again today. I didn't start going again. I had to miss a couple weeks and I was able to go back. If you're up to date with this channel, you know that that was probably a good thing for me to do considering how things have been lately. And you know, it was really helpful. I talked about how the overwhelming feeling that I felt lately is just a very non-eloquent description, just being done, like just so done. So done with like trying to be hopeful, so done with trying in general, so done with medical appointments and doctors and making phone calls and trying to find answers and I just like, I just I just don't wanna be in this reality. But at the same time, I should paint my nails if I'm painting my nails. At the same time, I know I'm like not going to quit life, I'm not gonna quit trying, but I'm also so fed up with everything. And I really liked her suggestion. She suggested that I find little ways to, to be done, little ways to rebel or kind of, you know, say screw the world, because that's kind of what I feel like. Whether that's, uh, you know, dyeing my hair bright colors like I already did, or chopping it all off, chopping it all off, or sitting in a dark room for 24 hours and not answering my phone, just being done, but for a very set period of time and then like re-engaging with life. And that makes sense to me. But I'm curious what you guys do when you feel that way, when you feel like so done with everything, so done with the world, kind of like rebellious, Screw the world self-care. What do you do? The only ground rules are I can't hurt myself or others. Those seem pretty solid. Oh man. I should really go get my nails done somewhere because I am messing this up. Just squish the rest of my nails. Oops. Anyways, I'm trying to think of things that would kind of help me feel like I'm giving up for like an hour and can like fill that need of wanting to just be done and then allow me to like re-engage with life and the world and hope and continue on, if that makes any sense. So if you guys have any suggestions for anything that does not harm myself or others, damage relationships, or cause particularly life-altering effects, 
let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear. See, doing my nails as a below the knee amputee is, is kind of simple because I've still got my hands. If I was missing a hand, it would be more challenging. In fact, I think Christy Sita did a video about painting her nails with only one hand. She did a killer job, probably a better job than I did with two hands, frankly. I'll uh, link that video below if I can find it. I'll show you the uh, finished product here. Easter on my feet. It actually kind of looks like Alien. Maybe that wasn't a great color choice. That's all right. It makes me happy. We'll stick with it. All right, guys. There you have it from an amputee. Pedicures. Uh, I mean, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just takes a lot less time without, uh, without all the necessary equipment for ten toes. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight for a fairly pointless video. But I mean, isn't that most of YouTube? I look forward to hearing your comments on how much you think pedicures should be discounted for people who are missing feet. And also, if you have any suggestions on what I can do to kind of decompress, what you do to decompress when you're just like done with the world in a fairly healthy way. It doesn't have to be the healthiest way. That's what I'm looking to do. Puppy cuddle time. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you. Hope you have a lovely evening wherever you are. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys. All right, guys. I was taking the thumbnail picture for this video, and I just need to show you how terrible I am at pedicures. Yeah, I just, like, smeared everything. Well, oh well. Have her from the sky.